Well, good morning, everybody. How are you all doing this morning? I left you yesterday at this school. The priest going into one classroom, me going into the other, and he said, I want to hear what you're saying. So I go into the classroom. Remember, I've been teaching all these kids in this school for four years, so they knew the gospel. They knew um, the Bible in many, many ways. And so he came in after about five minutes, and I was singing a song. He made the stars to shine. He made the wrong about creation, about God. And the priest came in, was greeted by everyone, sat down. And I said, now, uh, I thought to myself, in for a penny, in for a pound. So uh, I said, children, uh, who made the stars to shine? Who made their own? It was God. All the hands went up. Who made the mountains out God? Who made you and me? God. And then as we handed up, I said, Mr. Graham, we're made in the image of God. We don't come from monkeys. We are created by God in the image of God. I said, that's right. This was from we like called Patrick. He was very bright. And that's right. That. Uh, they say uh, he made the stars to shine he made the rolling sea he made the mountains high he made me this is why I love him I said why should we love God the hands went up because he died on the tree that's right for me he bled and died Mr. Graham he died for me Mr. Graham he died for me all these kids are showing he died for me I said that's right and we hung up and if you ask him to take your sin away Mr. Graham he takes your sin away and you're guaranteed a place in heaven I said, absolutely, that's wonderful. Again, we book Patrick. And uh, the priest I could see wasn't too happy with this. And then I said, but this is why I love him for me. He bled and died. The Lord of all creation became the crucified. And Mr. Graham, the hand again. I have asked Jesus to take my sin away. Well, the priest bounced up. He said, Mr. Graham, see you outside. And I went outside and said, get out. Don't come back. Thanks very much. So I went in to get all my material. And I remember the teacher coming over to me and saying, you know, this boy's never been here. He's no interest in these kids. It's because you love these kids. And he sees that and they respond to your teaching that you're getting thrown out of here. She said, I'm very, very sorry. And then I went to see the head. He said, I'm sorry. He says, these people never come here. He said, you're the only one that's been regular here teaching anybody about anything about God. He said, I'm very sorry. I said, I understand. No problem whatsoever. And you know, uh, about two weeks later, I was down in a store, Dunn store at the bottom of Letterkenny Town. And as I was looking through with Dorothy there at something, this mother and three kids came in and they looked around and they said, oh, it's Mr. Graham, it's Mr. Graham. And the mother says, come away from that man, stay away from that man. And they said, that's not a man, that's Mr. Graham. I always felt it was them saying, you know, that they love me. And then I heard later that the priest had gone up in the cathedral and says, keep your children away from this man don't let your children go to his camps don't be involved with him in any way shape or form and that really hurt my heart you know but God knows we sowed the seed the word of God and God was opening doors all over the county we went away up towards Christa and we get in there teaching in Christa done family schools around that area all wide open to the gospel one week I went in the teacher wasn't there there's was another teacher and she had a wee son with her and I give the wee son a wee bookmark at the end of the day I went back the next week and uh, they were there again. It says, oh, the master wants to see you up in the school in the next town. I said, really? It says, yes, yes. So I went in, by Catholic school, lots of kids there. The master welcomed me in. He says, go ahead. I said, go ahead, what? He says, oh, did my wife not tell you uh, and ask you to come and teach what you're teaching the children down there? And I said, no, she didn't, but I'm delighted to be here. And there's this big double-sized statue of Mary with all the rosary beads on. Here I am from the Shankill Road, brought up, you know, really brought up the hate of Catholics. But you see, if anyone's a Christ, he's a new creature. The old is gone, the new is gone. I was a different person. I love these children, love the people, no matter what colour they were, what creed they were, where they came from. I was trying to bring Jesus to them because they needed Jesus just as much as I did, if not even, uh, you know, we all need him uh, even more by the grace of God. He was moving in hearts, moving in lives. The master opened up that school so wide for us. It was fantastic. Uh, teaching the word of God, singing the word of God. They had a Christmas play. Dorothy and I were the um, guests of honour. They had the first communion. They sang our songs at the first communion. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Good news, good news. Christ died for me at the first communion. We were there. It was amazing. And then the county catechist, uh, he had a school out at the lake and we used to go out there every week and one week I was coming up to Christmas and coming around past the school and there he was taking all the stuff out and I said, what about you? How's things going? He said, I'm just about to 
decorate the chapel here for Christ. Just come on, give you a hand. And here I am decorating the tree and putting the stuff up here in the Catholic chapel. I thought to myself, my mates saw me up in the shack of road. Now, what would they say? But you know, the love of God just oozing out of us. The love that Christ has for the people of this world was burning away in my heart. And uh, you know, that man was a great man and opened the door very wide for us. But a couple of months later, I got a phone call. Some um, want to complain about what we were teaching the children. And they had a big meeting and they said to him that I had to leave the school. And he was in tears. He said, oh, Alan, he said, I'm so sorry. These people are not open to the new things of God. And that just blew me away. And you know, within a week, that dear man was sent away down to the other end of the country and never ever saw him again. And they got a new priest and of course I wasn't allowed into that school again. I was at a meeting, met some nuns, wanted to speak to these nuns and they said, oh, we're teaching up in the high school in this town, the high school in this town. Why don't you come and teach us and, and, and share what God has done for you with us? And I had opportunity many, many times I went into these places and taught the word of God. It was amazing. And then down at Bally Rain School, we started a wee soccer team and uh, there was a, a, a cup competition in that area. And uh, well, no wee schools like Bally Rain had ever owned it, but with some great players, uh, with the Whites and um, the young McCormick and uh, our Gary was in the team and a number of uh, children who were really good players. And we got a wee team together and we went through and won the cup. Remember the night, there was a crowd of people there and all the mothers and fathers of Ballerine were singing and shouting and enjoying ourselves. And we got through and we got out on the, uh, our cars at the end, went right through the centre of Letterkenny, singing and cheering. Uh, somebody had an open top uh, we truck and we were all in the back singing and just enjoying ourselves. Oh, it was just fantastic. And also in those days, the doors opened through John White over in the Derry. There used to be a bunch of uh, small wee groups and, and, and churches around Derry. And if I'm being honest, not a lot of unity. And I was invited over to do teacher training, do some preaching in these uh, places, of course, come from the Shankill and Belfast up in the Derry. It was wonderful to see how God opened the doors and met some magnificent people there, wonderful people. Um, there's one group in particular. Uh, we're meeting a wee group who had been split away from another wee group and they were meeting in Deck and Septa's house in Pennyburn and... I used to go over with John. We would have prayer meetings there and bring a wee word there. And all oh, these people were hungry for God. I mean, hungry, hungry, hungry for God. And we kept moving in and around the city and back again over to um, Letterkenny. And we're coming up to Christmas. And in those days, the fuel was cheaper in the north than it was in the south. So you'd fill up your cans and bring them back to the Republic. And, and, and buy stuff there and try and get it over without paying the customs at the border. Remember one Christmas, our Gary wanted a bike and he was about, I think he was about 10 at the time. And we went, we, the bike was half the price in Straban. We went over the border to Straban the car and got the bike. And then I got on this 10 year old's bike <laughs> and drove through the border checkpoint. Everybody was doing that through so that we didn't have to pay the customs and the duty on this thing for our guy to get a bike for Christmas. It must have looked like a giant on this wee bike, but our God was just doing mighty things in all areas of our lives. And we were praising him. We were lifting up his name. God was saving children. We were thinking about our first camps and uh, uh, to do we had been with Joe and Mabel in camps. They taught us how to do camps. We were very keen to do camps. We printed up the camp forms early on in the year, put them out around the schools. And I said, now the first one that gets in, I think we're starting with one week, if I'm not mistaken. First one that brings the forms gets into the camp. You bring it down to my house in Valley Rain. And when uh, we were uh, coming from schools that day down to our house, there was a line of cars right outside the door, uh, right down the road, people waiting to give us the money and give us the forms to start something that was, was going to be great for us and for Donegal. Camps, awesome camps we called them because we had an awesome God. Going to tell you tomorrow about some of the awesome things that God did at these awesome camps. God bless you. Hope you've enjoyed the day. Bless your hearts. Bye.